Hello everyone, how are we doing? So, it's literally just a quick fire video. We also got early access to Rensport and in doing so, we've been messing around a little bit and we're, we're trying to get the settings sorted and I couldn't really find anything because obviously this is not widely available just yet. So what I want to do is just share the settings I've got to right now for the, for the video just so you've got something to lean on maybe to start with and then you can sort of tweak and tinker with to whatever suits you going forward. So just to explain what it is, your first one is your monitor. So I have two monitors linked up. I've got an overtop one and my standard one. So this is my standard monitor, which is a 34 inch ultra wide monitor. I've gone with Windows full screen. And what you find here, there's, a, there's some different options on your graphics now so far i'm finding direct x 12 the best one what was happening when i was racing was i was finding my fps was fluctuating quite a lot and running with this i'm finding it's it seems to be sort of maintaining and sticking to now um yeah i got dlss on at quality and my fiend sync is off Currently, I've fixed my frame rate at 120. Now I can go to 165. So what I'll probably do over time is just up this and see how it copes. But so far, I've got it stuck on 120. I'd rather have it lower and fixed at a certain FPS than try and rise it and it obviously drop and rise. Uh, menu frame rate, I mean, that could be 30 FPS if you want. I've just got it fit, um, fixed at 60, but that doesn't really make too much difference and uh quality preset i've gone to high now you can go to epic and you can even go down to medium and low now again same with this what i'll probably do is see how i'll do with my frame rates uh, what i tend to do with this is that i will work up towards whatever my monitor is at this goes to 165 so i will push it up to 165 and the reason i'll do that because i find if you turn it off is that the gains then trying to push it as high as it can go which is pointless going over what your monitor can actually give you. So I find doing that helps me with performance. So this is this is where I'm at with my my video settings. Now what we're just quickly gonna do just to show the uh, the rendering option, just to give you an understanding of what that does as well. So let's just quickly jump to track, go into options again, video, right, rendering. So you can see projection correction. Now what this does, you find how the how this, uh, the track basically moves depending on how you got it. So just to go to extreme, I can go like this, I can go like this. Okay, so you basically just want to tinker with that to, to whatever suits what I'm finding it's about 50 works so again have a play have a tinker see what you think uh, mirror fps having 40 with a rendering distance 100 meters again i don't really feel like you need to go too much further than back than that here you really need to see so far back at your mirror uh, with the resolution high um so yeah use one render target for mirrors enabled car internal mirror i have disabled which is sort of just over here just under the picture here. i actually turn it off because you find a bit like when you play acc you're gonna have one here so just before performance i turn things like this off i don't need it i don't look at it okay uh kaya external mirrors display enabled so over here okay and uh, virtual mirror display enabled so like i said it literally was a quick fire video on your graphic settings what i'll probably do is just run through doing aspects in mini videos about Rensport, just so you can sort of pop to the relevant video you're wanting and uh yeah hopefully you can find what you want as and when hopefully you start playing it so yeah thanks for that and we'll catch you again soon